I just got a rejection letter. Oh, me? What? What? <laughs> this is nerve wracking. Assalamualaikum precious people Seperti yang kalian tahu beberapa bulan terakhir ini aku banyak banget share video perjuangan aku untuk daftar S2 di beberapa kampus impian aku Dan kalau misalnya kalian udah lama ngikutin channel ini, kalian tahu bahwa ini bukan percobaan pertama aku Tahun lalu alhamdulillah aku udah keterima di salah satu university di luar negeri yang Salah satu idaman aku juga, tapi ala kulihal karena Allah belum berkehendak, akhirnya aku belum berangkat. Setelah selesai sedihnya, aku coba daftar lagi ke berbagai universitas impian aku yang bahkan tadinya juga aku nggak berani daftar sama sekali. Dan per bulan Maret ini, alhamdulillah aku udah dapat hasilnya. Jadi aku pengen share video ini dengan kalian karena aku juga pengen bilang terima kasih atas teman-teman precious people yang udah nemenin dari awal sampai sekarang and hopefully you will stay a little bit longer and without further ado this is the results and enjoy <laughs> good morning everyone the day is the 26th of february 2022 and i just got an email i just finished praying subuh and i checked my phone for any update in the incoming emails and there is one from Stanford Graduate School of Education that says the result is out in the portal and I didn't expect to have it this soon so what I'm currently doing is to check the Grant Cafe which is a forum where a lot of people can report on whether or not they're rejected, waitlisted, have an interview, accepted and I want to see for the people who got their emails today for Stanford Education whether or not those emails are rejection emails or acceptance or waitlisted or any of those sort so I'm just gonna do Stanford here okay. Stanford application for graduate admission few details mm-hmm payment accepted and then what Few your decision letter. Uh-huh. Okay, let's see. Uh, we are unfortunately unable to recommend you admission at this time. Mm. Completely understood. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your time. The process of difficult and painstaking the committee members take many factors into consideration. Um, including compat compatibility of the candidates' interests and goals with the academic focus. So, thank you again for your interest in the Stanford Graduate School of Education. Best wishes in your future endeavors. Sincerely, the D. So, no for Stanford. <laughs> We've heard from one university out of five. We're gonna see what the rest says. Bye! Hi. Good morning. It's 7 a.m. here in the morning in Japan and I just got notified by a forum that has a bunch of Harvard applicants in it that decisions for the Graduate School of Education is out and I didn't think it was gonna come out today at least like an hour ago I, th I did think it was gonna come out today but someone in the forum said they have an insider info it shouldn't be coming out today so I thought of going back to sleep but then right before I went back to sleep I decided to check the forum one more time and someone said decisions are out so I'm just gonna go check that I'm shaking <laughs> I'm gonna check the website and whatever the result is it's the best decision like God's decided that for me if I get rejected it doesn't have any reflection on my quality as a human being or my character maybe a little <laughs> but it's more to do with them not being able to offer what I am looking for in a graduate school and if I do get accepted then that's you know a whole lot of responsibility on my shoulders to do good by my words and ensure that everything that I'm going to receive from my education is given back 100% to the community so, I'm shaking right now. Ah. Dear Zafira Akila, your HGSE admissions decision is now available. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim.
lagi nung kakak. Oh, selalu selalu cinta, 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 tapi lagi uci. Wow, <laughs> minoin kata bisa beneran berangkat ya. Oh, insya Allah, doain yang terbaik, selalu yang terbaik. Kita ngadu yang terbaik kak Pepe, dan terbaik yang Allah paling ridho, yang paling berkah, paling manfaat doanya itu. Amin. Mau ke bulan, mau ke planet Mars, kalau itu bermanfaat itu berkah, kita akan berangkat ke sana. I'm honestly speechless right now. Um, there are still more universities to wait for, so. <laughs> Bye. It's the 25th of March, and the results for UPenn is out. And we're going to see what the result is. Status update. <laughs> This is nerve wracking. Oh, okay. Thank you for your application. The admissions committee has carefully reviewed your application, and based upon that review, Penn GSE is unable to extend an offer of admission to you at this time. That's okay. That's okay. Thank you so much for you, Penn for considering my application. So, I've already gotten rejected by two universities and accepted to one so far. We'll see what the rest of the university says. It's for the best. It's for the best. Assalamualaikum semuanya. <laughs> Jadi, tadi pagi jam 10 pagi atau jam 11, gue dapat email dari Oxford which means it's 2 a.m. in the morning in the UK which means kalau dari pengalaman gue tahun lalu I just got a rejection letter from Oxford again <laughs> we'll see ayo kita buka ya kita lihat apakah benar gue ditolak Oxford for the second time or whether it's an actually acceptance letter, then gue cuman seuzon aja. I don't think so though. The 2 a.m. rejection letter myth is very true. It's very true. Gue ikutan forum student room UK or something like that. Dan kita semua tuh selama dua minggu terakhir ini tuh selalu nanya any 2 a.m. news. Any 2 a.m. rejection letter? Dan kita semua kayak, belum nih, belum nih. Kayaknya besok gitu. <laughs> that moment when you've given up. Ah, uh, I just, I... It's okay. If I got rejected, it's okay. Because Allah knows best. It's just that I seriously thought I might have a chance. <gasps> okay. Okay. Dear Mrs. Zafira Shahida, your application for Masters of Science in Education, Digital and Social Change. On behalf of the academic department, I am writing in connection with your application and the department has now carefully considered your application and supporting materials, but we are sorry to have to inform you that your application has not been successful. <laughs> Which means out of all the schools that I applied to, I applied to five schools, Cambridge, Oxford, UPenn, Stanford, and Harvard. I got rejected by Stanford. I got rejected by UPenn, Oxford, and Cambridge is a huge question mark. And then I got into Harvard. Jadi beberapa hari yang lalu gue sempat dapat email juga dari Cambridge dan not an acceptance but also not a rejection tapi mereka intinya ngemail gue untuk bilang kalau riset yang gue propose itu lebih cocok untuk didaftarin di jurusan lain di fakultas yang sama jadi mereka pengen tanya konfirmasi gue apakah gue pengen research gue di uh, consider untuk department lain jadi bukan di education um, globalization and international development tapi di jurusan and fill in knowledge, power, and politics. Dan gue bilang iya, karena 
ideally ada backup plan jadi nggak cuman stuck di satu opsi aja jadi kalau misalnya one doesn't work out there's still another option but we'll see karena itu juga belum pasti kan bakal diterima but for now karena gue ngerasa mereka pasti lebih tahu lah daripada gue jadi gue iain we'll see <laughs> we'll see what happens but I'm not applying to any school anymore so that's it and that is the results I am officially accepted to one university and that is Harvard University for Graduate School of Education but seriously I don't know if I could have done this without you without your prayers and without your support jadi sekali lagi aku pengen bilang terima kasih banyak dan kalau misalnya ada satu hikmah yang bisa aku petik dari proses perjuangan pendaftaran ini adalah you really don't know what is meant for you kita sebagai manusia benar-benar cuma bisa berusaha doang berdoa dan cari apa yang menurut kita dengan judgement kita itu paling cocok buat background kita dan apa yang ingin kita raih tapi at the end of the day what you know about these universities itu mungkin gak bakal nyampe satu persennya doang yang benar-benar tahu siapa diri kita dan yang paling cocok buat kita at this point is God and you just gotta trust him So I hope these videos that I have been recording, that I have been sharing with you guys can show you that first of all, <laughs> chasing your dreams is not an instant process. Mau nggak mau kita harus berusaha, mau nggak mau segala cara harus kita cari, harus kita coba. But at the end of the day, whether it is meant for you or whether it is not meant for you, The process itself is worth it and hopefully this can also be a reminder for everyone that there's always a lesson in everything that happens to us. Thank you so much and I hope to share more of my preparation to go to Harvard in the next few months and I continue to ask for your prayers. Terima kasih dan sampai ketemu lagi di video selanjutnya. Bye!